I was invited to President DeJoy's office for a meeting, so I knew it had to be for something important. I was thrilled uh, when I heard about the award. I was humbled in, in lots of ways. Being awarded a chair is without a doubt an honor. And when I was sitting down with the president and he was giving me this wonderful news, I was asking, I said, hey, what, are the, what are the requirements? And he just said, do what you think is worth doing. My name is Ophir Frieder, and I'm the McDevitt Professor of Computer Science and Information Processing. My name is Mitt Regan. I'm the McDevitt Chair in Jurisprudence at Georgetown Law Center. I'm Mark Murphy, and I'm the McDevitt Chair of Religious Philosophy. My name is Jim Freericks, and I'm the McDevitt Chair in Physics. The story, I guess, could begin uh, with me being a Georgetown Law student. I graduated in 1985. I was a postdoctoral fellow at a place called the Institute for Theoretical Physics. I was a graduate student at the University of Notre Dame. I was the Royden B. Davis Chair for Interdisciplinary Studies. I practiced law for three years with a law firm, Davis, Polk & Wardwell. Then I got the offer from Georgetown to come here, and it was not a close call. I looked around at various universities. All had a bigger department, a more established department of computer science. But I felt that if I came here and our research program will be further established, then I will have been the one that was part of the catalyst to get it there. There's an inscription on the library that says, law is but the means, justice is the end. It reflects the fact that, consistent with the overall Georgetown tradition, the law school really tries to educate the whole person. Georgetown was very attractive uh, for that reason, and it has continued to be. So corresponded to looking at eigenfunctions. One of the, the biggest things that comes with having the endowed chair, you have a lot more freedom now to engage in more collaboration. I was approached by a couple of folks with the idea of putting together a series of conferences in theistic philosophy because of the, the commitment that came with the chair. I was able to say, yes, let's do this. We typically put together one, sometimes two conferences a year on developments in the legal profession. We bring together speakers to talk about their careers, uh, what sort of cutting edge changes are occurring. And then the third one is... So I'll have more of an opportunity either to travel to a collaborator's laboratories or to have people who I'm collaborating with come to Georgetown and spend time here working both with myself and also with uh, students. So what do you guys think of the candidate? The university has been hiring continuously in computer science. There's no doubt that they would have had a very difficult time to fund all these additional faculties and positions without this endowed chair. Putting funding into the hands of a, of a chair enables the possibility of, of sort of pursuing projects under the direction of a single person with a singular sort of vision. You can do it, right? One way of if I had a chance to, to talk to the McDevitts today. First thing I would say is thank you. Your generosity has made it possible for the university community as a whole to be able to have more resources to pursue the Georgetown mission. The McDevitts were faithful, serious Catholics. They were also serious about intellectual inquiry. So I'm you know, particularly gratified um, that they would acknowledge this point in a chair uh, that's dedicated to the pursuit of sort of philosophical questions. Knowing how interested they were in technology and in innovative new ideas, I'm very honored to be one of the recipients. By their generosity, they will make sure that Georgetown will continue to remain among the top universities worldwide. Endowments and gifts of this scope are important because they provide the resources and the foundation for continued scholarship, for experimentation and innovation and education. Without large gifts, you will not have buildings. Without large gifts, you will not have faculty. Without large gifts, you won't have scholarship for students. So clearly, they make a big difference. But what makes great research universities able to carry out great research is the fact that there have been friends to the university that see universities as what they are, which is they're places where valuable things happen, where, where human capacities are more fully realized, where things that have never been thought and never been known are now thought and known.